How's it going? I'm here with another GM mode, and last time we simulated two months of the season, and we are 13, 9, and 1, getting off to a pretty decent start, but uh, I was questioning whether we should be trying to make the playoffs or not. And uh, a couple of you guys said to try and tank and go for a pick, uh, a top pick, but not to go for the number one overall pick to go for like a top 10 pick and so I figured out a pretty easy way to do that and uh, that includes trading Mike Smith um, that should make our goaltending pretty bad considering that we'll have an 81 in net and we should lose plenty more games that way without allowing our with without like uh, ruining our team and putting bad players there so our prospects will still develop hopefully getting points but uh while well, we're still losing games by not having a good goalie in that and a player that was suggested that i take is ryan ellis now i don't know how this trade is going to work out because nashville's got pecorine and taking on mike smith another older uh goalie i don't know how realistic this is but this trade looks like it would work out now, I have 45 skaters in my organization, so obviously that's not going to work. Uh, I want to get rid of one of these guys who doesn't have very good potential. And then I can move Dahl back down to the minors where he can get more playing time. Uh, let's sort by overall. So I can pick some guy and get him off the team. Potter. <laughs> Alright, uh, Potter. There we go. Uh, Nashville would have more. Okay, so I need to get a goalie back. Okay, um. I'm gonna go with this Soros guy, because he's got AHL starter potential. He's 20 years old. Um, maybe his potential could go up, maybe not. Uh, so it's not too bad. Actually, you know what? This guy's got a little less trade value. Actually, you know what? Let's try Soros. And, oh god, we'd be under the league minimum. Jeez. Um. Wow, okay. Alright, uh, is there anybody that we can get a cap dump off of? Um, alright, I'm looking for one year. Paul Gostad. $3.25 million. Not that good of a player. Um. Let's include him in there. And then I can try and trade away somebody who doesn't have very much cap value. To even out the players in the organization. Uh, like God debt. Let's see if that. Alright, it's approved by the league. It looks like it should go through. So uh, let's try this. Proposed trade. Rejected. Okay. Alright. Um, let's remove God Debt from there. And try and give him just somebody just a little bit better. Hopefully he doesn't have too much cap. Uh, money tied up in our cap. Uh, you know, Brad Richardson wouldn't be bad. Because he is signed for a few more years. So let's see if we can trade him. I propose trade. Limbeck will be called up to the NHL. Yes, that's what I want to happen. Trade accepted. All right, so we got Ryan Ellis on the team now. He should be a good defensive pairing with Oliver ekman Larson. Uh, yeah, I need to make roster moves. All right, so we got 20 players on the roster. That's good. Um, I need to go to edit line. Uh, auto fix roster I don't know I don't know what that did oh I guess we had to call up a goalie or something uh, so offensive lines are going to stay basically the same except for Gostad down there uh, and defense we got Ryan Ellis in here now and that's what our defense looks like Special teams, Ryan Ellis is in there. Um, I don't want Shane Doan on the power play. I'd rather have, uh, where is he, Tobias Ryder. There we go. 
get him as much playing time as possible. Actually, you know what? Mm, can I put Shane Doan on the on the point? Actually, he's going to be playing on the uh, penalty kill. So, actually, I need to go to roster moves so I can send down uh, Dahl back. There we go. Uh, so you can get some more playing time. Oh, man, that put us underneath the cap. Jeez, we are right at the cap floor, and this is not good. Uh, um, I, none of these guys really have potential. Uh, let's call up McNeil for now. Wow. Okay, that'll still put us underneath the cap. Oh, there we go. Still under. Jeez, wow. Um... Let's call up another forward just so we have some uh, somebody here just in case of, of injury. There we go. Um, not Jeffrey. Who do I want up? Somebody who doesn't have that great of potential, and I can't even check it from here. No. Yep, Dustin Jeffrey. All right. That should... Oh, well, no, that'll put us right at 20. Oh, we have too many goalies. So if we go back to the NHL, goalies, Soros. No, Soros and Tuttle need to come down. And in the system, we need to bring up Lynn back. Oh, my God. All right, give me a second. I'm going to figure out the rosters. And uh, I'll bring it back once I got it figured out. All right, so I think I got things sorted up in the NHL. Uh, these are what the lines look like. I got still the same first and second line. Actually, the first three lines are all the same. Got Gostad there and Henrik Samuelson. I had to call him up to make the cap work uh, because we we're right at the cap floor. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, I got him... Playing on the fourth line, I wish I could get him more playing time. I uh, got him on the fourth line and first line penalty kill. So he'll, he should be getting plenty of time. Uh, hopefully that doesn't stunt his growth. I hope it really helps him out. Uh, and defense. Uh, still looking like what I had it before. Uh, Oliver Ekman Larson, Ryan Ellis. Hopefully that uh, potential goes up. I didn't notice it was only top 6D. Uh, but he's got good offensive stats. So, putting up points, uh, he should. John Moore and Michael Stone. <clears throat> I like that matchup together. Two defensive defensemen. Uh, and then Kevin Connaughton and Connor Murphy together. Uh, let's take a look at the power play. Uh, still the same as before, except with Ryan Ellis in there now. Uh, penalty is kill. Like I said, I got Henrik Samuelson in there. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Uh, the extras got all of that. How it should be shootout and the goalies. I got Domingue, Domingue, Domingue. I'm gonna go with Domingue. I got that guy as the starter and Lindback as the backup because Domingue has a little bit of potential. Maybe he'll grow. Lindback doesn't have any, and his role is backup goalie. So you know what? I'm, that's what we're gonna roll with. And in the AHL, because I actually got a... Actually, I want to show you who Scratch first. Uh, we got T. Conoff, Vitaly, Stefan Elliott, and Tyler Gaudet. But he'll, he will be sent down as soon as Vitaly comes back from his injury. So we go to the AHL. And I had to send down John Scott because of how the cap worked. So I guess that's where he will be for the time being. Unfortunately, we can't have him on the NHL roster. It just doesn't work out that way. So, no all-star game for John Scott. And then that's how the defense looks. So, we got Ryan Ellis on the team now. We should do worse because we don't have uh, as good as a goalie in there. But we should still get plenty of points uh, based on the players that we got out here. And let me go to player morale real quick. Um, who wants to talk? Gostad. Yeah. Uh, welcome aboard. There we go. Ryan Ellis, uh, welcome aboard. Same thing. Positive effect. I like it. All right. 
So let's get back to simulating games. Um, I still, I didn't change the training block, so we're she, so we should still be looking for a goalie. Uh, you know, let's go up to the All Star break and let's see how. Oh God, John Moore, mild concussion. That's great. Uh, so we gotta change that up. All right, so I put Stefan Elliott in the lineup for him. And, oh, great, he's ready to play now. All right, so I got John Moore back in the lineup. Uh, yeah, okay. Shootout win there. Joe, okay. All right, so got to go to roster moves. Got to fix this. Uh, what position was he? Uh, God, that. There we go. Oh, God, this is going to be a headache. Give me a second, and I'll be right back. All right, so I think I got it fixed. Uh, I need to, t I want to show. Uh, how it looks like right now. All right. So these are, oh no, do not want Vitaly in there. I don't know what happened. Gotta have Samuelson in there. Uh, he's got potential, so I need him to keep playing so he can keep growing. Uh, ch -ch -ch. uh, we're, uh, let's go to roster moves. Uh, it's really hard to work when you're this close to the cap floor. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Ah, uh, that's not what I want to do. Because all of our, the guys' salaries that we want to keep up here, like Stefan Elliott, I need to keep him up because he's our seventh defenseman. And there's just a, these guys' salaries are just a little bit more than the guys in the minors. So I, I can't call one up while um, sending one down without it not or without it working. So what I want to do is I need to make a trade. I need to trade a couple players that actually no, it says I have 49. How many uh, how many goalies do I have? Because I know I can have 45 skaters, which means if I have five goal, okay, I got five goalies signed, so I can sign. One skater, and I gotta sign him to a slightly bigger contract, um, so he can uh, help bring us up from the cap floor, so we don't really have to worry about uh, barely hitting it. And who should I bring up for that, or who should I sign for that? I don't want to sign somebody good. Like uh, I could sign Simon; he'd be a nice little scoring touch on the third line. But we're not trying to win right now. Uh, so who should I sign? Uh, let's go get a fighter. Like uh, Colton Gillies. Here we go. Offer him a contract. I just need it. Just need it so uh, we're not so close to the cap floor. Let's give him two, uh, two and a half million. That should give us a nice buffer zone. There we go. All right. Simulate ahead a couple days. Hopefully nobody gets injured before we get him signed. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Ryan Ellis is hurt. Good thing we got Stefan Elliott up here.
All right, so I got him out, or I put uh, Stefan Elliott in there, and we got Colton Gillies. Okay, so, uh, oh, edit scouting assignment real quick. Um, where did we go last? Crap, I don't remember. Uh, let's go to the WHL. I feel like we haven't been there. All right, uh, here we go. Gotta call him up. In the system, Colton Gillies. Calling him up. There we go. All right, so we're not so close to the cap floor now. There we go. All right, so let's keep, let's try and keep simulating. Hopefully, we don't have too many injuries. And uh, we can actually start to lose some games. Oh, my God. One moment. So let's go to player morale. Um, Oliver Eklund Larson wants to talk to us. There we go. Thanks a lot. It's a good crew. We have we know what they do. Uh, they know what, whatever. The second answer. Colton Gillies. Uh, I've had my eye on you for a while. There we go. Positive effect. I like it. <sighs> Got to raise the morale of the team, right? Uh, best lines, there we go. Uh, replace player. Come on, how are we still winning games right now? Uh, Boyd Gordon has a separated shoulder. Edit line. Alright, so we got, uh, got T Con off in the lineup. And we're still winning some games. Uh, Connor Murphy. All right, edit lines. All right, there we go. Uh, player morale. All right. Eklund Larson would like to talk to us. Yes, that makes me happy to hear. That's good. And Tobias Ryder. Uh, things seem to be going nicely. No effect? All right, that's fine. People are unhappy. You know what? It's... Really hard to keep peop, uh, players' morale up when you're losing games, but uh, we're not doing half bad, and I was trying to uh, make the team worse. Oh, edit lines. All right, there we go. Ooh, Couch Achura's hurt again. I, You know what? I was going to try and just go through this, but the injuries are just so annoying. Literally, there's like 5 to 10 a month. This is ridiculous. I'm going to turn them off. I'm sorry. I just... This is annoying how many there are. Ah, let's edit the lines, though. Alright. Stop the simulation. Stop. I got to uh, go and fix these lines. Or fix the injuries real quick. Uh, injuries. Off. There we go. I cannot deal with it. It's just annoying. It's a hassle. And I tried to go through it, but it's just a nuisance. And I don't know how to turn down how many injuries happen. So I'm just going to have to go without them. So it takes a little level of realism away, but you know what? I'm fine with it. Ooh. Multiple players are finally addressed. Here we go. All right, there we go. And we still seem to be winning games. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, 
Uh, we're st it looks like we'll still make the playoffs. Which isn't good. I want a top pick. Now, obviously, we have other top picks from... Or we have two first-round picks this year. Now, what I do with those, uh, I don't know. Whether I use them and draft whatever players. Or I, what I can do is I can try and package them and move up in the draft. Because... Obviously, we're doing well right now, and I have no idea why. Uh, let's go to player morale. We're doing good, and... <laughs> uh, great, found a good balance. Uh, yep, you should. Be proud of it. There you go. Uh, I don't know what to do without really blowing up the team, and I feel like that would hurt our prospects. So, you know what? Uh... Just gonna roll with it. Uh, Ryan Ellis, obviously a good addition to the team. Uh, Doming Domingue and Limback must just be doing a really good job in net. So let's take a look at the stats so we can see that. All right, Martin Hansel looks like he's still a point per game player. Uh, what is he at? 48 and 49. That's close enough. Uh, Michael Bodker or Mikhail Bodker, 36 and 49. You know what? That's all right. Really wish he'd do a little bit better, but you know what? He is not going to be a superstar for us. Uh, Max Domi, 35 and 49. That's that's pretty good. I wish his points were a bit higher. He's got really good offense stats. I think he's capable of more, but just have to see how he keeps developing. Uh, maybe I put him... I don't know. I don't know what I could do with him to make him get more points. Oliver Ekman Larson having a fantastic season, 30 points in 49 games. Ribeiro doing pretty well, 29. Uh, Ryder and Duclair both to 25. I'm really liking that uh, those two with Ribeiro. Ribeiro, a uh, really good playmaker, and he can just feed it to Ryder and Duclair. They got 10 goals each, so that's nice. Uh, Ryan Ellis doing all right with us. I really wish that potential was higher, though. But uh, solid offensive defenseman right now. I feel like he'll he will be a good contributor on uh, on the power play for us for years to come, especially with that offensive awareness. He's got a decent shot, really good puck skills though. So uh, even if he's not a uh, top line guy, he will be a solid point producer for us. Uh, Shane Doan's got 20, and this is how the rest of the team looks. Ooh, Stefan Elliott still hasn't gotten a point. Even John Scott got one. Uh, and let's take a look at the goalies. I think they've just been playing hot right now. Uh, where is it? There we go. Yeah. Dominguez has been hot. Maybe I need to make Lim back the starter. Um, 2.26 goals against. That's pretty good. That's fantastic for an 82 overall. He's a uh, 9.2 or 0.9 to one save percentage. So yeah, I need to make Lim back the starter. If uh, we want to start doing worse. Or if I keep going for the playoffs. So my original idea was to try and miss the playoffs. And get a better pick. But Arizona doesn't want to lose. So where should I go from here? Let me know. And ooh, I didn't want to go to the AHL. I want to see how the rest of the league is doing. For points. Oh, goalies. Uh, no, I want all skaters. There we go. All right, so Tarasenko is leading the league with Taves, Perry, Ben, and Skinner leading the charge in the league. Hansel, he's in the top 10. That's pretty nice. So, uh, let's, he's got, he's better point per game than, uh, Crosby right now. Ooh, let's take a look at team stats before I go. Uh, yeah. Sitting second in the Pacific Division. Uh, uh, Calgary's got a game in hand and they're only a point behind. But LA is 10 points behind us. So it looks like they're not going to catch us anytime soon. And in the West, where are we at? We're fourth in the West. Again, don't know how. I guess they just don't want to lose. And in the entire league, let's take a look at our 
goals for per game. Where are we at? Uh, wow. Seventh in goals for per game. That must be why we're winning. Goals against? Yeah, we're one of the worst. Actually, no, we're one of the best. Wow. Um, where does that put us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11th in goals against. So we're a, a good defensive team, even with two not-so-good goalies. Uh, how's our power play looking? You know what? One of the better ones. I wish it was above 20%, but you know what? Can't complain too much. Uh, penalty kill. Where are we at? Hopefully it's a lot better than before. It got a little better, I guess. <laughs> not too much better, but you know what? That's fine. And lately, yeah, we're 7-1-2 and two in the last 10. So, again, I need to know, what can I do to make us a worse team to tank, or should I just go for a playoff push right now? And if we go for a playoff push, what should we do with the picks? I don't exactly know. Uh, that's why I'm asking. And if you just want to let me know, that'd be great. So we can figure out what we're going to do next time. But until then, I'll see you.